You may have seen this recent New York Times story about a rare genetic defect that leads to a type of dwarfism. That's IGF-1 deficiency. Their growth factor levels are so low they only grow this tall, but they almost never get cancer. Here's the IGF-1 levels in their non-affected relatives compared to those with the condition. Now let's look at their respective cancer rates. About 20% of their relatives died of cancer, which is pretty standard. And the percentage of those with IGF-1 deficiency dying of cancer? Zero. Not a single person in the study. Here's what non-affected family members die of. The usual, heart disease, cancer, stroke. The folks with IGF-1 deficiency may die of a lot of things. They actually get hit by cars more, were recorded uh, tripping downstairs, so 20% death from accidents, but they never died of cancer. So scientists began thinking, hey, why not have the best of both worlds? Have all the growth factor you need as a kid, uh, so you grow to a normal height, but then, as soon as you obtain a normal adult stature, keep your IGF-1 levels low. Keep your you know, cell life and death balance sheets balanced. And we can do that through dietary manipulation, which I will cover tomorrow.